Hi, welcome to another cosplay review and hopefully the last one in a while. I really need to stop buying a lot of cosplays and just wear what I already have or have made. This one is going to be Senora from Genshin Impact. Now I unfortunately have deleted all of the footage that I recorded of unpackaging and all of that. So I'm forced to record it again. But at least I have a better idea of what the parts are and where they go. I keep all of my cosplays in these bags. I got this one from Amazon. I'm not gonna lie, they're a little pricey, at least for me. About $8 for one. But they come in handy because they have these four pockets so you could put all the other parts of the cosplay. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna open it and then review the parts all over again. The only thing I'm not gonna open right now is the wig. I'm just gonna insert some footage that I managed to salvage of me opening it and wearing it because it's a long wig. I really wanna be careful with long wigs because when you pull them out of the back, they always get immediately tangled and I'm just trying to prevent that. All right. Let's start with the small pieces. By the way, this cosplay was bought from eBay. I originally wanted to get the one from... Oh, I should have worn a short sleeve so you could see some of these pieces better. But I really wanted to get the one from Doki Doki because it looked the best from the ones I've seen. But this one looks the most similar to it. I don't know if it's the original manufacturer of that and because I know Doki Doki is a reseller. Okay. These are the gloves which are very soft. They go all the way up to like here. It's gonna be really hard to see. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try putting it all the way. Still, I'm happy to say that the finger part actually fits really well because with a lot of cosplay, sometimes if it's too big, your hands end up looking like Mickey Mouse. It feels like you could actually grasp something without it falling out of your clutch. The only thing is, I don't know if this fabric is going to wear out. I've had that experience with some gloves. Sometimes when you're touching something for a long time, we'll see. They also included two of these straps. I don't know where this one's supposed to go, but the other one, I've already attached a lot of these little parts. I've already attached them. They came separately, but I believe I did shoot some close-ups of what they look like and how they are before I put them on. So just in case you bought this and you don't know where it goes, you're going to see at the end. Okay, this is the mask. It has some wire. I don't know how I'm going to hide this with the wig because the wig is already a little bit of a challenge to put on now. Hiding this on it and then having to take off the mask. Right now, it doesn't obstruct my eyesight that much. I don't know if I'm wearing it correctly. Probably not. I feel like this is supposed to be more like this, no? It's very basic. I've seen some really good 3D printed ones that are bigger. So you might want to get those if you don't want something as flimsy as this. Well, that's that. Next. Oh, this one. Actually, I'll talk about it at the end. You'll see. <laughs> okay. And the cosplay also came with some tattoos, which I'm not going to wear. Probably only this one. This is the part that goes on her leg. Because this is only a one-time wear thing. You're going to have to buy another one anytime you want to rewear it. Now these, on the other hand, I made my own and I'll show them to you. But this is good in case you don't have it. These are the ones I've made. I've made them before I even bought the cosplay because I was just so excited. But unfortunately, I made them a little bit too big. As you can see, they're very long. And the top of the dress goes like up to here. So that's going to be an issue. I'm planning to attach these to my chest with some liquid latex because that's all I have. But you could also probably use eyelash glue or any other adhesive that is safe to the skin. All right, here are the sleeves. These golden pointy things came separately and I had to secure them onto the sleeves. I'm not sure which side they go to. I'll look into that later. Each sleeve has two strips of fabric and they both have these small black diamonds hanging on them which also came separately. I like the sound that they make. I want everyone to hear me when I'm approaching from a mile away. This is not the highest quality fabric, I'll be honest. The details are printed on here, so if you want something super mega high quality, unless you commission it, there isn't a cosplay that I've seen that has it embroidered or anything like that. And this is imitation jacquard fabric. I don't know how to say it. Jacquard. But this black part is, is a real thing. Pretty nice for the price. 
I always like it when the fabric doesn't come wrinkly. Okay, here are the shorts. Okay, so the rest of this section where I'm showing off the shorts, the cape, and the other accessories was cut off because my camera died and my stupid dumbass had not noticed that it was not recording. But luckily, I still have these close-up clips to show what I was talking about. I didn't have that much to say about the shorts if I remember correctly, except I just thought they were really comfortable, stretchy, soft, and had this really pretty lace. They kind of look like old lady lingerie, but senior could wear anything like this and still be a bad bitch. Then we have the cape which is made out of that same jacquard fabric with a thick sheet of I think foam to keep its shape. Again it's not hyper realistic with the golden decoration sticking out like she has it in the game but I'm hoping eventually to buy it an even better one for her. Maybe have it commissioned since I can't find any other better options because I think the cape is the most fleshy part of her outfit. It has these buttons which I think are meant for you to connect like the fuzzy thing to the top of it. Speaking of which, this is how flat it came. But after doing a little bit of surgery to it and stuffing some cotton, I think it looks a heck of a lot better and fluffier. Maybe it was just my product that was defected, but I took some thread and then just wrapped it around the button. Then there's this piece which is fully made out of Eva foam with a red tassel at the end. Pretty lightweight, but I don't know if it has that much durability if you crush it, for example. Also, it didn't have a way to clip it onto the cape, so I just safety pinned it. Okay, on to my least favorite part of the cosplay. These delicate little spears that have the gold design kind of lazily tattooed on. And a couple of the spikes that were hot glued on have come off. This is why hot glue has always been my least favorite type of adhesive. And just like all the other accessories, they all also had to be safety pinned on because there was no other way to attach them other than this plastic tag. Now I'll admit I had no idea what I was talking about for this next clip but enjoy. Now that's gonna be a little hard to do because anytime you want to keep the dress top from falling and slipping you're gonna have to have the heavy cape but I like these flowers. In her game model the flowers look printed on the texture but for this cosplay they're separate flowers. This part also came separately. It's supposed to wrap around your waist like this. That's what I attached the flowers to. I'll put this on later. Okay, now the dress. I don't want to take it off the cape because it took me a while to attach it. This is the top part of the dress. I think it looks pretty good. I know it could be better, but this is the best I could find. However, this is a really thin fabric. I would prefer something longer and firmer than this. This middle part, which I think it's normally opened, is a sheer piece of fabric. This is the actual jacquard fabric and this is an imitation jacquard fabric. The pretty pattern. Besides being pretty thin, I'm quite happy with it. I just find it weird that there's no other way to attach these straps. They have to go on the cape. Because if you wear it without the cape, it's just going to be falling a lot. Let me see if I could show you a better view of the dress. Wouldn't you know, my camera died again. Well, thankfully it was near the end, so I had pretty much finished showing all the main pieces. As promised though, Here's the wig from Doki Doki when I first opened it. Her fluffy little rose buns that I can't wait to style. It's long. I hadn't even noticed her hair was this long. It's fairly good quality. I find Doki Doki wigs to be quite beginner friendly, meaning they don't often require that much styling, or at least not from scratch. I personally prefer to do my styling the night before the con so that it may be easier to store before then. The hairline makes me kind of anxious because it's that type of hairline but good thing the mask is gonna hide it all right here's a full cosplay with just my regular hair because we're trying to keep the wig at minimal damage since it's such a long wig one thing i forgot to mention in the other review was this earring that also came with the cosplay it's one of those clip-on earrings so if you don't have your ears pierced you're all good only one was provided but that's okay because that's the only one that's going to show oops <laughs> These are the shoes that I'm also going to be wearing for the Shinobu cosplay, which I've made a review about. I just think they look kind of prettier than the Canon Signora shoes in my opinion. Alterations! Alright, so I did end up using the extra straps. I found a way to attach it, but it still doesn't hang as high as I would like. For the mask, I removed the black elastic that it had and replaced it with this metal hair loop. 
I just find it easier to take off and put on this way. That way you're not constantly pulling it over your head and ruining the wig styling. And also so that it doesn't look like it's weirdly wrapping around your whole head like this. As you may have noticed, now when you put it on, the lace over the eye kind of hangs off a bit. Now for that, I sewed on this little loop. What you do is you just loop it around your ear like this. And that keeps it well secured to your face while remaining hidden. Another thing that I chose to do, instead of going with the tattoos that were provided and having to buy them all the time and also the design wasn't that accurate anyway, I decided to paint it on some stockings. Then, there's this treacherous catalyst that I got from AliExpress. Oh my god, this is flat. It's too flat, bruh. Then again, could I have made something better myself? Probably not, to be honest. It's better than nothing because I cannot post for shit unless I'm holding on to some sort of prop. So that's like whatever. And here's the back part of it. Oh, last but not least, in terms of modifications, I did add a little pocket right here hidden behind the flax because I love to have pockets when I'm in convention. Here it is. I tried to make it as discreet as I could. But I still need to add some velcro to it. I do like carrying some little essentials on my cosplay, stuff that I just can't hold with a bag. Because with these little diamond things which are falling apart, it's going to be hard to be carrying any kind of handbag. Yeah, especially with the hot ass day that it's going to be, I'm going to need a better adhesive than this liquid latex. Overall, I'm quite okay with this cosplay, but I'm not going to lie. It looks pretty right now and it would look amazing for the photo shoot. But it's one of those cosplays that you're gonna wanna get home and just rip off. And that's not because of how it was made, it's just wearing something like this is just not practical. You know, it comes with the cosplay life. Some people feel uncomfortable even wearing just a sailor uniform. With a lot of these spa cosplays, I always end up having to change some things to my liking. But it's not a big deal. I've kind of grown to expect it now. You know, there's always room for improvement. I was a little bit worried about how this was going to turn out because Genshin cosplays tend to be very detailed and very intricate so there's a lot that could go wrong with them. Doki Doki, when you're ready to make a Senora SSR version, hit me up. Um, speaking of Doki Doki, I did end up ordering another pre-sale cosplay. Last one I promised but... Don't worry, you won't be seeing that for a long time because Doki Doki tends to take like half a year to send out their pre-sale cosplays. Alright, well, I think this video has gone long enough and I'm gonna go ahead and end it right now. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!